Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. We've had three annual Christmas ornament challenges so far, and we're planning on another one. One of the things I decided to get ready for this year's is my own ornament hanging stand. I've seen a lot in different venues and decided it's time for me to make my own. So here we go. It actually just consists of a base and a piece of brass rod in this case. can be stainless steel, can be brass. I used 1 16th inch brass rod. Mine's a little bit bouncy, so next time I'll go up to at least an eighth inch. Probably not much more than that. But this is a now a very nice ornament stand. It with Even with this size of wire, it is good for a small to medium size ornament. So, getting ready. Let's make an ornament stand. I'm starting with my scroll chuck on the lathe. I've inserted about one inch of the length of the brass rod in between two of the chuck jaws and clamped it tightly. The end I'm inserting will be the top. Then I'm bending the brass around the rim of the jaws. It's bending much easier than I expected. I'll work it just a little until it looks good. After removing it from the jaws, I'll bend the bottom end into a right angle for insertion into the base. The top gets just a little more of a loop. This rod was 1 16th inch diameter. Next time I'll use a heavier piece as this one is very springy, probably 1 8th inch. For the base, I have a piece of elm scrap still fastened to a threaded wood faceplate from another project. It looks perfect for this project. Already fastened to a faceplate, already round, and about the perfect size. I'm going to use a bedan on this one. Probably not the perfect way to use a bedan. I'm not cutting much, more like scraping. Hopefully the bedan police will not get on my case. Then sand up through the grits. Now to drill the mount hole. I'll indent the start point with a skew. I don't want the drill bit to wander. Then drill the center with a 1 16th inch drill. I need to finish the back side also. I don't want to just sand off the back. So I'll mark for a tenon and cut a very shallow groove to use for a mount. Then part it off. With the wood reversed onto the small tenon, I want to trim the back. However, to be sure the wood does not fly off, I'll bring up the tailstock with a rubber stopper for a bit of security. Once I get most of the wood removed, I'm removing the tailstock and finishing up with very light cuts. Then sand and finish. After a little buffing, I inserted the wire into the base. It works for a very light showpiece, but bounces a lot. So next time I will use heavier rod. Meanwhile, I'll continue to get ready for this year's Christmas Ornament Wood Turning Challenge. That's all for this week's video. Please like this video, and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to both my website and YouTube channel. Always wear your full face shield. Goggles are not enough. Until next time, this is Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns.